Good morning, Hampton Roads. How's everybody doing today? And welcome to Virginia's only local real estate investing podcast, where we get to talk about local investors, local deals, and all things local. I'm your host, the founder of the Master Investor Academy and author of my best-selling book, Work Just Gets in the Way of Making Money, Scott Jelinek. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, things you'd like to discuss, or properties you would like to sell, you can go ahead and text me at 757-699-4227. That's 757-699-4227. So I got several things I want to discuss with you today. But before I forget, I got like four texts from people that were asking me to tell you the coupon code again for the deal machine so you can get the free trial and 15 free credits. So for those of you who don't already have deal machine, let me uh, make sure I tell you guys. I know you guys are texting me for it. And I figured I'd just put it on a podcast. When you download the app or when you go online and you set up your deal machine account, there'll be a spot that says coupon code. In the coupon code, you can put in the words free 15, F-R-E-E-1-5, free 15, and that's going to give you free credits and a free one week trial. So even if you don't want to use it, you can run around and play with it for that week and then just set a calendar reminder if you want to cancel it. My personal opinion is if you're going to stay in this business, you're going to have it. You're going to need to have it. It is worth its weight in gold. But um, but if you just want to test it out or dabble with it, just use the coupon code free 15 F R E E one five and try it out for free. So a couple of things I wanted to discuss with you today uh, beforehand. I want to tell you where I had lunch yesterday. I thought it was very good. Some place I haven't been called Cava Cava C A V A um, over by Pembroke Mall by Town Center, um, and it was surprisingly good. I actually it's kind of like a a um, Chipotle type thing where you go and pick what you want, but it's all Mediterranean. And um, I thought it was fantastic. I'll definitely be back there. I uh, I really enjoyed it. So I know I wanted to share that because I know you guys text me a lot. Oh, you didn't tell us where you ate. And I know I'm getting bigger and bigger. Everybody's asking me what I'm eating. So um, I want to tell you a couple things. One is I lost a deal this week. And I might have told you guys about it. I did a Sunday appointment and I had, I, you know, and, and I left that appointment not thinking I was getting it because they told me they, were, they wanted 180. I offered 120. They were working with uh, an agent and she was trying to get them investors. Then they called me back this past Saturday and said, yes, we want to take your deal. I tried to get with them that day to do the paperwork, but they said, no, you got to give me till Tuesday. Um, they said something about somebody was out of town and I had to give them till Tuesday. And then Monday evening, they text me back and said that um, their agent offered them 125 and uh, it was a couple grand more than I offered. And I told him, I said, well, don't sign anything because, I, you know, I might be able to work with it and uh, I'll, I'll come out and see you guys tomorrow. And they said, no, they want to go with the agent because she's the one that found them the other property that they're moving into and yada, yada, yada. I didn't push it any further. I just let them know, keeping me in mind, if something should fall through, we will be crossing our fingers. It was a good deal. I was excited about it. Um, but these things happen. So, you know, I thought I'd share it with you because this is just part of the business. And I don't always only want to share the wins and the upside. There's sometimes this happens too. And that is why we get that emotional roller coaster where, you know, I left the appointment feeling like, ah, probably not going to get it because they, I was way off of what they wanted. Then they call me back and I'm at a high. I'm like, man, I'm going to crush it on this deal. Probably make 30, 40 grand. I'm real excited about it. And then I get that text and we went back and forth a few times, basically telling me the agent has a buyer for him and they're going to go with that one. Here's what it is. Uh, I just wanted to share with you in case I told you about when I was getting the contract. So, you know, that one fell through. I have an unbelievable good appointment today, actually, in two or three hours or two hours. In two hours, I have an appointment, a good appointment in Aragona. Um, I'm hopeful on it. There's a there's enough spread that I should be able to make something happen. Um, we'll let you know. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today. So today I want to talk to you about the, the slow flip boom, the slow flip uh, craziness that's going on. And that is you know, I, I love slow flips. That's my business. That's my heart is in slow flips. However, um, we've been doing them forever and everything's been great with them. But I've been talking about this for a while now because of what happened in 2020 and 2021, where landlords, regular landlords that had 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 properties, basically were all told to screw off by the government. Sorry, nobody's going to pay you and there's nothing you can do about it. A lot of them are over it. So I have three deals I'm working right now that are multi-units. The lowest one is 16 units. And this one, I believe I'm definitely getting. We already we already came to terms on price. We're just putting together today the paperwork. So this one is 16 un units in Portsmouth. They're townhouse units. They're not a great deal. And I got to tell you, sometimes people are like, well, why are you doing it if it's not a great deal? I'll tell you why. So I'm getting them for around $60,000 each. 
Um, they're probably worth 89 all the way up to 129 right now, depending on the bedroom count and bathroom count. There are different, you know, they're different um, townhouses in the same development. But they're all rented. Um, and I, you know, I don't do rentals. I, I sell with owner financing, but I'd have to maintain the rentals and the leases for what they have. But because they're higher priced than I would normally pay, almost double, I need to do a 10 year funding on it. And so what that means is I am not, you know, normally I tell you with slow flips, we really don't make any money for the first 60 payments. And then the 61st payment, we crush it. Well, on this one, it's going to be 120 payments. And so therefore, you know, that's 10 years, which, you know, I know the conventional program is, well, you know, 30 years. So 10 years still doesn't sound like a whole lot, but I'm going to contract them. I'm going to fund. I already have a lender prepared to loan me the money on it. It's about just about a million dollars. And I'm going to do it over 10 years. I'm still paying 12% interest, which I know is a lot. And, um, and they're going to, they'll pay for themselves. I'm not really going to cash flow until we start having rent increases, which I firmly believe is on the horizon. Um, then I'll start cash flowing a little, but the 121st payment. So that's when we really start to crush it. And I'm 48 years old now, which means they won't be paid off till I'm 58. But this is the, uh, you know, that's the only way to grow right now for me. I buy one and two houses at a time. It doesn't really excite me, but buying a package that does excite me, which brings me to my next one. I have another landlord who's got 101 properties um, that are all Newport News and Hampton. But what he wants is city assessment. And city assessment is, you know, it's marginal at best. The value for me is they're all occupied. The value for me is I can make a, a move the needle. I can move the needle on growing my portfolio. They're all occupied. And because of the size of that, it's probably going to be somewhere between seven, eight million. Um, I can do bank funding on that, which is going to make my payment minimal. And then I can majorly cash flow from the beginning, but I'm still throw money at it to get it paid off the way I like to as fast as possible. And um, and, and this one I may or may not get. We're just in the starting um, starting talks right now. Um, and then I got another one that's got a, about 80 units, same type of thing. He's he's over it. He's had the rentals for years, probably 20 years. And the, the, the city, state, the federal government messed with everybody over this past year and he's over it. And so, I, you know, I, the first one, the 16 unit, I know I'm getting these other two were in the beginning talks. But the point I wanted to go to with that, why I'm even mentioning it is we've been talking for months about this is coming. This is going to be a tsunami of landlords that are over it and want out. And so you need to be ready. And by ready, I mean, you need to be in a growth mindset. You need to be preparing your private money, preparing your private lenders or get right with the bank. If you want to use bank financing, you know, when you buy one or two properties, it's really not going to be worth it for a bank to loan you 30 grand or 50 grand. And it's going to be easier to use private money. But if you're going to buy 20, 30, 50 at a pop, then you can do a commercial line with a with a bank. So something to start thinking about, get your paperwork, get your taxes right, get your um, your balance sheet right, your financial statement, because if you're going to do a big package, you're probably going to want to move into into a bank and not use the private lender, which we've been using all along. And I and I'm continuing to use even for the 16 package, I'm using a private lender. But if I get the 100 package, I'm going to probably have to use a bank because I don't think I'm going to be able to raise eight million in one pop from a private lender. Although we never know. Cross that bridge when we get there. But I want you to be prepared, which is why. I was thinking about doing this podcast. I have been talking about it ever since the beginning of this, but it's already happening. As soon as they they lifted this uh, eviction moratorium, um, these landlords they want to get the tenant out and the se- and they don't want to refill them. As soon as the tenant's out, they're selling, and they're not selling one or two or three houses. They're selling all of them. So get yourself ready, get prepared, and um, and you're going to do great things. This is going to be a great time to build up your rental portfolios. So that's all I really got for you today. I actually have a podcast that I have to get on in eight minutes. I'm doing Joe McCall's podcast to talk about slow flips because we're actually doing a slow flip challenge, a five-day slow flip challenge, which is coming up in two weeks. I'll tell you more about it as we get closer. As a matter of fact, if you're interested in something like that, you can text me and I'll give you the information um, at 757-699-4227, but it's not ready yet. Um, We're working on it. We're putting it together and I will tell you about it as we get closer. It's about two weeks away. So I'm about to be on his podcast. So that's why I'm going to have to get off with you guys here in eight minutes. That's going to start. And uh, and that's it. I just want you to get ready, be prepared. Slow flips are going to be huge in the coming the next few years because landlords are going to want out. They already do. They already are. We're getting all kinds of leads from landlords who are tired and want out. So get yourself ready in position. Do something today that your future self is going to thank you for. I promise you that um, you buy them today and you are going to thank yourself in the future for every single one that you decide to keep. Every property that you say yes and pull the trigger on and put in your portfolio, 
your future self is going to be like, oh, thank God, old Scott did that and took care of me now. So um, do something today your future self is going to thank you for. I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy these videos, give me a thumbs up. Or if you're listening on the podcast, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon. Have a fantastic day.